In this video, I'll show you how to install the latest Android Studio version and create a project. First, search for Android Studio in your Google bar. Not Android Google, Android Studio. And the first option will be this. Now, if this is not the first option, I'll have the link in the description. You can click in the link in the description and open that link from there. Now, you will see this Android Studio Hedgehog. So, this is the latest version as of January 14, 2024. Now, Click on download and rest with your hedgehog. Scroll down and accept the terms and now click on download and rest with your hedgehog. So it is 1 GB, it will take some time. So now our and rest with download is complete. So what you can do is you can click on open file or you can go where you are, wherever your download lit file exists and double click on this and your installation wizard will start. If you are asked to allow this app to make changes, click on yes. So as you can see, our NS Studio setup is not com now complete. Click on next and let's keep this checked so that our NS Studio will open after we finish this and let's create our first project. So click on finish and this will close and our NS Studio will open. As you can see, our NS Studio is now opening. See, I already had a project in my previous NS Studio, so that's why it is directly opening the project. In your case, you will be given an option so let me show you what you will be seeing so if i go to file new and new project so this is what you might be seeing so what you can do is let's say you want to create an app so let's just say uh, let's create empty views activity right and click next and let's call it my first application my first app and we'll use java for now you can choose kotlin as the language click finish and now it will download some platforms that is android 34 to test or the latest sdk platform 34 so let this be downloaded so once the sdk and all the apis are downloaded click on finish and now your android project is finally being set up you can close these things and finally your android project is ready so what you can do to test this is let me first show you the files so all your java code is inside this and okay this is my old project so it's the new one okay here is the my first app so it is still being ready so you can close this so finally everything is ready now so this is our project structure we have a java folder and we have a resources folder so all our code is inside java folder so all our business logic all our the good stuff is inside our java code so all the functionality is here and the ui part is here so the icons the images the themes and everything is inside resources so here's hello world now our basic project is ready so let's see how we can run this what you can do is you can, you can connect a device and you can run your project on that device using this play button so you'll have to enable debugging mode on your device check the link in the description to show you how to enable that if you don't have an android device you want to create an emulator what you can do is click on this icon device manager and here we have no virtual devices so click on this plus icon and create a virtual device 